Rays hosting the Rangers, and the Rangers and the Rays are both minus 110 on the money line. The over-under is eight runs. The Rangers, depending upon your casino, though this is going to be another one of these games, that either the Rangers are the favorite or the Rays are the favorite. So one casino has the Rangers laying a run and a half at minus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. And the Rays getting a run and a half on the run line at minus 180, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And another casino has the Rangers as the underdog getting a run and a half at minus 210 on the run line and the Rays laying a run and a half uh, at plus 175. So use a site like VegasInsider.com. It'll allow you to compare all the casinos pricings in one place. And this is because of the pitching matchup, which is probably one of the better pitching matchups that we get today. And the fact that the Rays are actually the home team. And the Rays are incredible at home this year. Now, Ovaldi pitched once against the Rays last year. It was as a member of the Red Sox. Five shutout innings. They won that game. Six nothing. It was called because of weather. And he struck out four batters in that game. The Rangers are 7-3 and three in Ovaldi's last 10 starts. They've won his last three starts. He's averaging six and two-thirds innings pitched and six and a half strikeouts per game in those games. So he's a guy that you'd like to look at the K line and see where it's at for over-unders. Bradley did not pitch against the Rangers either last year or this year. The Rays are four and three as a team with him on the mound in the games in which he started. He's averaging five innings pitched and 6.9 strikeouts per game in those games. So this game is essentially a batter of a battle of strikeout pitchers. So if someone makes a mistake, chances are the ball's going yard, but we should get a lot of batters who are uh, struck out in this one. Head to head, the home team is five and five. The home team's on a three game winning streak. The Rays are on a three game winning streak. The Rays are seven and three against the Rangers in their last 10. The favorite has won the last three games they played against each other. The favorite is eight and two on the money line. The favorite laying the run and a half on the run line, winning by two is seven and three. There have only been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The under is 6-3-1 and one in their last 10. And the under 8 specifically is 5-3-2. and two. And it doesn't matter what the wind is doing outside of Tropicana Field because it's a dome. Now, in their last handful of games against each other, the Rays won 8-3, 5-3, and 5-1. Every one of those games was in Tampa. The last game that the, the other game that they played... The Rangers won 4-3. That was also in Tampa. The last four games they've played against each other have been in Tampa. The Rangers have lost their last two games. They are 7-3 and three in their last 10. 7 runs, 10 runs, 1 run, 11 runs. 4 runs and a win, 6 runs and a win, shutout and a loss, 3 runs in a loss. The under is 5-4-1 and one in their last 10. For the Rays, they have won their last 7 games. They are 8-2 and two in their last 10. Seven runs, three runs, six runs, 11. Seven runs in a win, two runs in a win, four runs in a win, eight runs in a win. The under is eight and two in their last 10 games. This is, this is going to be one of these fun games to pick. And uh, just food for thought, the Rangers are 19 and 13 on the road, while the Rays are 30 and six at home this year. I'm hoping for a one-run game. I'm going to I'm going to hedge my bets based on that. I'm going to take the Rays with the money line and I'm going to take the Rangers getting the runs and at the casinos whether they're the underdog. And I'm going to go under in this game because of these pitchers who are on the mound. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.